Welcome back to Copycat, guys, the weekly series on YouTube where we recreate visual effects from famous films and music videos. And today we're taking a look at Dune, one of the most anticipated films of the year. And of course, when looking at the visual effects, we instantly think about the body shield. So that's why we're going to recreate this training scene right here from the film and show you guys how it's done using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back from my holiday and it's super good to be back. Hey, I'm back, I like to be back. Ooh. Especially when we are creating such cool effects like the body shield of the new movie Dune. And we wouldn't be Cinecom if we didn't create a super cool set to match with the effect. So let's do this. Guys, never go shopping when you're hungry, because I bought some ships. Even when I went for a tablecloth, I came back with some ships. It's paprika. Paprika. Paprika, Junge. And do you know what the funniest thing is, guys? Follow me. <laughs> This could have gone so much easier. <laughs> so we're currently making use of almost 24,000 watt. What? My wallet is hurting. I, I can feel it here. <laughs> We're always putting so much time and effort into making these tutorials, mostly in building sets. Fighting sticks! I know Kung Fu. As you guys probably already noticed, our set right here is heavily inspired by the training scene from Dune. We made sure we had a really big open scene and created this arch-like window just like they have. For the lights, we kept it pretty basic, but we made sure every light had two soft filters to make it really soft. However, we do need more contrast, so to do this, we just simply added some extra orange filters in the back. <laughs> Lorenzo, you have no idea what I just came across! Apparently there is this website where you can download millions of video assets for just one single price per year. And that is Storyblocks, today's sponsor, and you can find millions of high-quality 4K stock clips in various jars and even collections so that you can always find the right stock clip for your needs. And you know what else there is on Storyblocks? There are backgrounds, there are visuals, there are After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro templates like preset things like transitions and text animations and other very cool visuals. Storyblocks is the place to be if you're a content creator, a filmmaker, a video editor, a VFX artist, then check out storyblocks.com. You can click the first link in the description down below. We use it on almost a daily basis and it is really helping us to create new stuff. We're saving time, we're saving money, so we can highly recommend it to check it out as well, guys. Did I just broke the set? Yeah, you did. Damn it. <laughs> I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. Didgeridoo. <laughs> didgeridoo. Don't. No, didgeridoo. Now 
Now, what do you need? Only two shots. One where you are fighting and having impacts, and the second shot is going to be a handheld movement shot. Lorenzo is taking one right now. He's just filming a power socket and moving left to right, up and down, creating a handheld movement. And this movement we can use later on in Premiere Pro to make a wiggle kind of effect. And that's it. It's time to start creating our body shield effect and the first thing you need to know is that the effect happens on impact. So every hit will trigger the shield. But also if you fall on the floor or even jump, so keep that in mind when you're shooting and creating the effect. Now let's open up Premiere Pro and the first thing we do is place our fighting clip in the timeline. Then we made a duplicate of the clip and placed it on top of everything. We trimmed the clip to only show the impact and a little part after the impact. And now for the fun part, excessive masking. Of course you can also use After Effects and rotoscope everything, which is a lot faster, but we love masking. So mask out your talent in the duplicate clip and do the entire impact. Then give it a little feather and nest the duplicate clip. And now let's shake things up a little bit and add a wiggle effect to our duplicate. For this we're going to need our handheld clip. We took that clip and placed that in our nested sequence. Then we went back to our main comp, next we added the warp stabilizer to the nested clip and set the result to no motion, the method to position, scale and rotation and the framing to stabilize only. And now you're probably thinking, weren't we going to create a wiggle effect? Well, yes. When we stabilize the nested clip with the warp stabilizer, the effect will counter animate the handheld movement and this counter animation is what fuels the wiggle effect. So once that effect is analyzed, we can delete the handheld clip because we don't need that anymore and our nested sequence will wiggle around like crazy. Our next step will be creating the look and feel of the hologram shield. On the nested duplicate, we're going to add the Lumetri effect. With this, we can make our masked out talent bluish and a lot brighter. Of course, we lower the opacity and adjusted the blending mode to screen. And if you now play with your effect, we will already have a wiggling blue body shield. But let's make it look more random and for this we're going to use a track mat. First we will need a new layer to serve as a mat. So we created a new black color mat and placed that on top of our nested duplicate clip. And of course we made it the same length. Now on our mat we're going to add the VR fractal noise effect. We then played around with the settings until we had something we liked and animated it all with the evolution. Next we're going to look for the track mat key effect and add that to our nested clip. Within the settings we're going to set the mat option to video 3 and a composite using the mat luma. And now you normally have a random hollow body shield wiggling around your body when an impact occurs. However, we're not done yet. We're going to fine tune it even more. We took our body shield clip and the color mat and these two we nested into a new sequence. On this nested sequence we are going to set the blending mode back to add and lower the opacity. Then we are going to create an animated mask, starting from the impact and moving over the talent's body. This way the impact is emphasized even more. Now one last thing you can do is duplicating the body shield clip and offsetting one of them by one frame, making the pulsating effect of the body shield even more intense. That's it guys of course you can make your body shield red if you perform a lethal hit and oh yeah don't forget to add a body shield to everyone who gets hit that means the attacker and the defender Oh, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and also learned something new inside Adobe Premiere Pro today. Big thanks for watching and Storyblocks, big thanks for the support and the help today on this video. Guys, definitely make sure to check them out. There's a link in the description down below. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends and as always, Stay creative.